In this tutorial, we're going to show how to copy a DVD using Nero Express. Now, once you open up Nero Express, this is going to be the window you're presented with, giving you the different options. In this tutorial, we want to copy a DVD, so we're going to select Image, Project, or Copy. Then, once you do that, you're presented with three other options. You can copy an entire CD, DVD, or this image that you've created. Now copying a CD is just the same as copying a DVD. So you can basically follow this tutorial to copy a CD also. Now once you select copy entire DVD, this is the next window you're presented with. Now we're going to go over these options quickly. You have the source drive. This is going to be your DVD-ROM drive where the DVD is placed at, the original DVD. And then this destination drive will be your DVD burner, where your blank DVD will be at. Okay. Then you have this button here, the quick copy. When selected, what Nero Express does is it copy straight from disk to disk, from source disk to blank disk. When you have this unselected, Nero Express will copy. It will create an image file on your hard drive and then copy it to the destination drive. Now the benefit of having Nero Express first copy an image to your hard drive is that if you have any read errors, you won't basically waste the disk. But I always just roll the dice, so I'm going to select Quick Copy. And also here, verify data on disk after burning. That will allow Nero Express to run some tests to make sure everything went well. So you can leave that selected. Then you have the writing speed, which is always 8x. We have a lot of DVD burners out nowadays that burns at 12, 16, or even 18x. So it allows the copy faster. But whenever you're copying videos, if you don't want to compromise the quality of your video, I wouldn't recommend copying any faster than 8x. Now, if you're copying data, you could just go straight with the 18x and you don't have to worry about the quality being compromised. and also over here you have the options button the options basically just gives you information about the the blank disk you're using in the current drives the DVD ROM and the DVD burner drive so that's not really important and once you select on this copy button here Newer Express does the rest hope this tutorial was informative for you see you next time